hi guys welcome back to my channel we finally made it to the weekend thank god this has been an overall busy week i was in desperate need of a glass of wine as i prepared to work on things business related that didn't get done through the week usually monday through friday after i get off work from my full time i would dedicate 30 minutes to one hour towards my business doing anything from working on my website, sketching, sewing, things of that nature. But that's only after making time for myself and my son. However, over the weekends is when I get the most of my work done. I put on a good movie or play some music and just get in my vibe for real, get in my mode and start my work. This is a show I recently got into called Jenny in Georgia. It's really good. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all should check it out. But yeah, let's get into it. Today I will be working on some samples such as seam finishings, hems, pockets, and etc. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I am currently working on my 2024 resort travel collection. And a lot of my items will be half lined. It will not be fully lined. So it's good to have the proper finishings already in mind. These are basic details that I'll be using throughout my collection. When I finish these samples, I will be putting them in my process book. So I am starting off by prepping my samples. I am measuring them to be eight and a half by 11. No particular reason. This is just how I am doing it. I'm doing some eight and a half by 11 and I'm doing some at eight by eight. I was able to fish these large pieces of muslin out of my scrap bin, so I'm just working with what I have. The first seam finish I am working on is called a French seam. I'm going to start off by putting the wrong sides together and sewing one half of an inch. As you can see, I am pressing it open first, and then I'm going to press all to one side and trim one fourth of an inch. As you can see, my son Isaiah wanted to come make an appearance, so I took a little break to help him with his tablet. Picking up where we left off, we just trimmed one fourth of an inch. Now we're gonna put right sides together, press it real good, and then sew one fourth of an inch. After I just finished sewing the one fourth, I am surging around the sample just to make it neat. For the next sample, I'm going to cut bias strips to finish off the raw edges of the seam. This is called the bias bound finish. I just sew a regular one half inch and then press the seam open. And now I'm going to press the bias strip, which is measured at an inch and a fourth. Now I am just sewing the bias strips to the raw edges of the seam. Now 
This child is continuously back and forth as I record, so don't pay him any mind. And the last seam finish that I'm going to do is done by a serger. It creates an overlock stitch on the raw edges of the seam, and this is called a serge seam finish. Next, we are getting into an inside seam pocket. Okay, so this is how it came out. Not bad at all. Next, I'm going to do a rolled hem and a basic one half inch hem. To do the rolled hem, I'm gonna use a rolled hem foot. I got these uh, special feet from madamsew.com. It came with 32 feet plus a bonus. These are the main two I use the most, which are the rolled hem and the flat hem foot. Okay guys, that is it for today. As you can see, we have the surge hem, the bias bound, even though I need to loosen my tension a little bit. As you can see, it's a little tight. The French seam, we have the inside pocket, the basic one half inch hem, and the rolled hem. And I'm gonna add some more to these samples. Not to mention, I will be starting my final looks in muslin this week, and I will be working on them over the next couple of weeks, and I will let you all in on that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep in mind my goal for the end of this month is 100 subscribers. My new videos will be dropping every Sunday at 6 p.m. I appreciate you all tuning in. I will see you all next time. Thank you.